today is the 3rd of may uh, 2023 so guys uh julius malema the leader of the economic freedom fighters eff has expressed shock upon learning of uh, jacob ngarovume's imprisonment in zimbabwe ngarovume the leader of the opposition transform zimbabwe party was last month convicted of incitement to public violence and sentenced to four years in jail for a tweet he posted in july 2020 in the tweet, Garuvume called for a national shutdown to protest against poor leadership by the ZANU-PF lead government. In a Twitter post, Malema said Zimbabweans must learn to protect their people, especially those fighting corruption. He said, I was shocked to hear that a Zimbabwean government has jailed Jacob Garuvume for demanding accountability through picket lines on how COVID-19 funds were used in 2020 by corrupt politicians, sending an activist to four years imprisonment for simply holding different political views is pathetic. Zimbabweans must learn to protect their own, particularly those who are the voice of the voiceless against the corrupt few. The truth will never be incarcerated. Africa, we are one. Malema's remarks came after Jonathan Moyo, a former information minister now in exile, claimed that Jacob Bungarovome's conviction and imprisonment signifies a regression of Zimbabwe's judicial system back to the Kukurawundi era. The Gukurawundi era was a period of political violence from 1983 to 1987. The Zimbabwean military killed an estimated 10,000 to 20,000 people, mostly ethnic Ndebele, under the pretext of suppression a rebellion by armed dissidents and due to political tensions between the NPF and PF Zapo parties. Both Zimbabwe and South Africa have constitutional guarantees of political freedom such as freedom of expression, assembly and association. However, Zimbabwe has been criticized for restricting these freedoms through arrest and harassment of opposition figures, journalists, activists, while South Africa is a more open political space but faces concern of political interference and corruption. The actual practice and implementation of political freedoms can differ based on the government's approach to dissident and opposition. So guys, that's the latest here. Yes, Majoko Bangaruvume, uh, he was sentenced to four years in prison, but you only serve three years. So which means that uh, you will be out in 2026. Yes, April, May, 2026. Buddha because of this whole uh, situation just a tweet and uh, just a tweet and i was so shocked to hear that the man was sentenced to four years in prison i thought maybe he was gonna be given a fine or something but no three years four years in prison so but anyway we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the latest here yes i mean uh we need uh to protect uh, those who are the voice of the voiceless against the corrupt few, we as Zimbabweans we need to work together. And uh, it seems like when come to Nyai, uh, Tagona ma tweets ma show ma from political leaders and other people on our Shinji, they ignored it. But again, this trend up on social media to complain and told Zoni, Muno ma atina a real opposition, atina a real opposition. But kind of when I was I'm sorry, I don't pay support because he or she is not popular enough. Tina that syndrome you could see kinda at least as you go on as a go nero can I sna support a pana pan and to go like it's a quimba or tongue into the farming or whatsoever because I has popular but I didn't got you But what you know gonna watch you even I got as I gotta say teaching go far at you open better those two drum at you know Zimbabweans like for you to know father one or the popular the question in the coco but when you watch the popular watch you a pana action and you go a cheater but the watch over was na popularity and go as na one or one I got all action I got all my one hour and go at it you know I'm sorry mouth because I mean we don't know him or what was he doing and now I'm going to be able to do so it is what it is I feel sorry for uh, Jacob Bungaru from his family because uh, he is a breadwinner so he's going to be locked for three or four years in prison just imagine because of a tweet was he doing it for his family only no he was doing it for everybody he was doing it for every zimbabwe out there so he needs our support that's the bottom line of it whether you don't agree with what he was doing or whatsoever but he was doing it for us because in 2020 he was one of the few opposition leaders who was on the ground who was active he was the most active member of, of, of the opposition uh, in that here 
in our job scala who is also in in prison as we speak right now and but anyway we'll be keeping you guys up to date here on our daily news breaking news everyday news on prince Mill entertainment tv the man needs our support the man needs our voice I just don't want to my tweets, can I my cheap social media? I don't want to pay for three years, four years. It's like I was just no fun, but no one is talking about it. Life goes on. When the moon out to me, that's how we do it. You say, I do do life here. Bye bye. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Bless up.